be at his essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome viewer, welcome to the second week of July 2024. This week, this video is going to cover the second week of July and uh, the dates to be precise is 8th of July to 14th of July. The central theme of the month is described with the help of, uh, of the second week, I'm sorry, is described with the help of three cards. We have four decks. You have the general, you have the health, wealth and relationships. So let's see what the central theme for the second week uh, that is from 8th to 14th of July is going to hold for you. You've pulled out the Seven of Roses, the card of journey. You've pulled out balance in spirituality and practicality in the full moon in Pisces and finding relaxation and resolution similar to mountains. So uh, there will be a journey that you will think about undertaking or take it yourself and that is going to be inwards. It could be outwards of course, the physical displacement from one place to another. But here we are talking about an inward journey. A change that is required in how you see things, how you feel things ought to be and how you think things through. Okay, so that is something that you should prepare yourself for. Balance, a beautiful word that I respect a lot, especially in terms of the occult and reading of cards. You will have to be spiritual and practical at the same time. And that balance is what you are going to try and find. So you can't always be meditating and you can't always be working. So you will have to work and then take out the time to meditate. Just to give you a small example. Um, you are going to either go to the mountains or make a trip to the mountains or find that calmness and relaxation just like the mountains uh, display and uh, find it within yourself to find a solution to the issue or the challenge that you're uh, facing at the moment. Remember, when there is chaos in the mind, you will never find, find a solution. You will only have negative vibrations, low vibrations, and that is not going to be something that will help you proactively achieve your result. Instead, if you're calm, if you're relaxed, then you will be able to think clearly, right? And gain a stronger hold in finding a solution to your problem. All right, let's do the first card deck, and this is going to be the general reading for the second week of July. You've pulled out the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Nine of Boons or the Nine of Coins, nice, and the High Priestess card. Right, so, uh, well, right up front, we have the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles. So you are going to be receiving an offer uh, or you will be giving out an offer in terms of money. Maybe you're trying to buy something, plot of land, flat, bungalow, or you could be buying a car, uh, but that's definitely happening in the second week. Um, this could also be uh, interpreted in terms of business and profession. So you might be uh, either wanting to hire someone or you might, uh, in terms of your business or your profession, or you might be uh, giving a money offer, so to speak. The justice card is here to say that you could be a liberal or dealing with one. This card also means that uh, you will have to pay a little more attention to the taxes, the legal aspect of your life. There could be some court deliberations being held. And of course, if this card is showing up in your reading, it means that it will be, the ruling will be in your favor. If you have any litigation spending or you're about to start one, then again, you're on very strong ground as of now. The nine of coins or the nine of boons. Interesting. This speaks about you getting attracted to uh, all the glitz and glam that money brings. So you will be looking at satins and silk, expensive bling blings, everything that makes you feel more glamorous than your ordinary self. And you will be giving out a very strong magnetic financial energy because of which you will be attracting all sorts of people. Some people will want to suck out this energy from you and leave you feeling drained out. And some people might be um, encouraged and uh, advantageous to your level. Uh, so be very careful in deciding who is who, Depend yeah, because your energy will be retained depending on that, right? And you will be attracted in buying more and more luxury items. The High Priestess card is here to say that either you're pissed off a High Priestess or you're under the protection cloak of one. For your sake, I hope it's the uh, latter and not the former. This card also means that you need to make your sixth sense your first sense, which means please listen to your instinct, your gut. Because if you do, you'll never go wrong. All right, let's look at the second deck of cards. This is the card of uh, the deck of health. You've pulled out the justice card again. Remember, it came out in the general section. 
you have pulled out the seeker of boons or the page of coins the four of coins has come again and the two of wands all right so in terms of health um well um uh, you could be a liberal or dealing with one that's for sure other than that uh, you are there is something to do with the law that is making you feel uncomfortable you're a little restless uh, probably because you feel like either somebody is suing you or about to sue you or you may be coming under the scanner um, there might be some legal notice issued against you um, this could be your personal or your professional life or you could be doing it to somebody else but whatever it is it's giving you a low vibe an air of restlessness okay you're not feeling very relaxed about it um seeker of boons interesting so here we are talking about the about page of coins so you need to send out a message and that message is something that you're you're spending too much time thinking over or it's possible that trying to you're expecting that message to come and that's what's making you anxious so again it's a low vibe and that could of course be affecting your sleep pattern and as a result your health four of coins uh worrying a little about money trying to be very careful as you're spending the money that's a possibility and worry of course is not a very good thing because then you know um we're looking at a lot of things every possible illness that you can think of stems from stress and worry don't give yourself that um this is also a card that speaks about your land your property so you could be concerned about um the selling price of your property you might be wanting to buy something and you feel that it's too expensive for you and that could also make you a little anxious to a fonts this card says that you're planning a trip by the water and uh, um that and this card also means that you are you might be overthinking into taking what you already have and building it into a better brighter version and that's taking a lot of time for you uh, from you uh, and because it's taking a lot of time from you it's also affecting your energy levels so again as far as health is concerned i'm looking at anxiety i'm looking at worry i'm looking at concerns and i'm looking at overthinking so just make sure that you're careful about all these in the second week of july now let's move on to the uh, collection the uh, the deck of wealth so here you are uh, from 8th to 14th you've pulled out the high priest or the hierophant card you've pulled out the 3 of coins or the 3 of boons the 6 of coins and the 9 of coins right a lot of coin cards so that's good because it is the wealth deck um so the first card says that you could be a torian or dealing with one you are also someone who will benefit from a religious ceremony either attending or conducting and something will happen during that time that will make you that will give you that uh, one up and uh, that eureka that you've been waiting for to solve the current puzzling challenge the three of coins or three of boons this talks about there is discussion happening with you being the center point of that discussion in case you are a business person who's looking for investor or investors then uh, that's happening there's talks happening regarding the same uh, if you are looking for a job and you have uh, multiple places where you applied for a job talks are happening but if this card is showing up it means some good positive result is going to come out in your favor six of coins six of pentacles tells me that uh, you are uh, definitely either a libra or dealing with one this card also means that uh, somebody will try to take something of value from you and it will not be returned in the same uh, condition that it was borrowed in it could be money itself or it could be something valued in terms of money it could be a vehicle a flat or you know a luxury phone um a bobble a trinket something of value okay even a an apparel a cloth piece will do but uh, this card is here to warn you that you need to learn to say no and uh, this is something that will bring the this will devalue that asset so this will bring the wealth of that asset down and you don't want to do that so instead of losing your friendship and your uh, worry over you know when are you going to get that item back and then being disappointed and all of these are low vibes mind you you might as well save yourself and say i'm sorry but i believe in the system of neither a lender or a borrower deal okay you need to do that and the 9 of coins this is a card we use a lot in spell casting here we are talking about don't go by the gender you could be a male also 
you are going to be attracted to all the luxuries uh, of life all the shiny glitz and glam that money brings and you will want to buy more things because you you are uh, you are emanating that kind of energy that kind of opulent and grandiose energy which will attract two sorts of people one sort that will try to suck that money energy out of you and leave you feeling drained out and another section that is going to be um that's going to be uh, very uh, very positive and it will add to your energy value so please know how to differentiate between the two and uh, then take a decision as to who to let you uh, who to open up to and who not to all right and the last deck of cards is the card of relationships for the second week we all you pulled out the strength card twice the keeper of visions or the king of cups and the temperance card all right there you go you have three out of four major arcana cards which means you have the blessings of the angels so strength card tells me that you could be a leo or dealing with one in your relationship you are you need to keep your ego in check be tolerant don't be judgmental and uh, you don't like other people uh, jumping into a conclusion when it comes to you and uh, then why are you practicing what you are not supposed to practice so please uh, be careful of mindful of how you're treating those who are near you because this is not uh, it's a it's a double card which means that the universe wants you to sit up and take notice it's quite possible that in a particular relationship of yours uh, there is an ego trip happening it could be from the other side or your side and uh, trying to bracket a person into oh my god this is how men are oh my god this is how women are um that's also very wrong we're all unique in our own ways and we all have our pluses and minuses having said that don't be stepped on but don't be overly judgmental about someone if you instead of forming an opinion it would be wiser if you can uh, have a heart to heart or a one to one like they say with the person the keeper of visions or the king of cups tells me that you could be a pisces cancer scorpio or dealing with one this card also means that you're holding on to something really tightly and that's making you come across as someone who is desperate um who is bordering frustrated and who doesn't want to lose you know uh, his or her ground uh, no matter what the what the cost instead of focusing on this desperate uh, feeling and uh, moving all your energy in that direction i would rather that you focus on the process and let the universe do the job holding on to something tightly is just going to make you feel bad and uh, unwanted and uh, the vibe of course is super supremely low right um instead release have faith in yourself have faith in whatever steps you have taken and then let it be right do not be desperate never be desperate you will always fall on your face and the last card uh, for the second week for relationships you pulled out the temperance card here uh this card tells me that you could be a sagittarian or dealing with one this card also means that in your relationship you need to strike a sort of balance in your life you are not being able to do that in terms of your relationships maybe you're giving one person too much of time and the other person not much um uh, and uh, others are beginning to take up you know sit up and take notice and that's not a very good thing for you um i understand that some relationships in your life are closer than the others but please learn to divide uh, your relationships and into into mutually exclusive sections if you want to be happy because if you uh, think about it you cannot um, your your degree of love for one person should not outweigh the other it should be a separate sort of love how you love your parent maybe has to be different um but not more or less as compared to how you love your children because that's a separate kind of love sibling love okay offspring love a uh, parental love spousal love so divided like that don't say no i love uh, my mother more than i love my wife uh because gents if you are getting into that then you are asking for trouble so be careful stay balanced and learn to keep your relationships mutually exclusive if you want to be happy right and well fed all right uh viva that's all i have for you for the second week of july 2024 starting from 8th and ending on the 14th i will see you in the next couple of videos until then love light and knowledge to you all be at us sa and om sarve bhavantu sukhina